You mean Christ hasn't descended from heaven to earth? No, no, no. No, Christ lived on earth. He was a man like you and I, but an outstanding man. That is just a Greek myth that the god Attis came to earth, was murdered and resurrected three days later, and then ascended to the heavens. So you are trying to say that these beliefs... Yes, I'm trying to tell you that Christ did not teach these beliefs. You mean that Christ did not die for our sins? You mean he was not a redeemer? No, he was not a redeemer, but a guide. Not a god, but a human being. Not a creator, but a creation. Dear God, so when will these people be enlightened? <laughs> Listen, brother. For I do not have much more time. I want to speak my last words. Oh, no! I wish... I wish I had never met you. I don't know if it is better to confront the truth or to remain in my ignorance. Get up! Oh! Fast! Stand still! You, Fabius, for the crime of converting to the false religion of Jesus of Nazareth and denouncing the gods of Rome, have been sentenced to death. Fabius, you will be crucified. Take him! 
Move. Move forward. Adnan. Move. For the crime of converting to Christianity, you will be executed. Take Come it. on, move forward. Uh, move. Move. Uh, Salamis. For the crimes of theft and rebellion, you will be crucified. Take him. Uh, uh, come on. Uh, have move. mercy. Have Get mercy. It. No, I didn't do it. They're lying. Adonia, for They're propagating lying. the Christian faith, you will be crucified. Take him. Go. Praise be to you. I praise you with the modesty that befits my humble status and with the fervor that befits your grandeur. Oh God, accept the little this your humble servant can offer. for a long time for this meeting. Grant us the worthiness to recognize the presence of the praised one and bless Mount Paran with his arrival. Your Highness. Huh? Your Highness, I am Antonius. I know I am an unwanted guest. I just wanted to see you before leaving. Please, forgive me. Shepherds have nothing to offer but milk. Take it. Please, take it. It's fresh. Your acceptance of this humble Thank gift you. gives me great pride. Oh, by the way, I heard your prayers. You must be a saint. <laughs> am I right? No. Yes. Yes, you are. Oh, I think as you please. You prayed so purely. Oh, by the way, Your Highness, I heard you referring in your prayers to the praised one. You said you were wishing to see him. Who is the praised one? Have you read the Holy Bible? No. I do not even know how to read. Listen while I recite passages from the Holy Bible for you. A 
according to the holy duality. This is the blessing given by Moses to the Israelites before his death. He said, Jehovah came from Mount Sinai, rose up from Seir, and shone forth from Mount Paran. The light that shines from Mount Paran is that very Messiah that our Lord Christ told us about. He is called the Praised One. Where is Paran? Paran is that oasis where Abraham's wife, Hajar, and his son, Ishmael, lived. And Ahmad, the praised one who is among the descendants of Ishmael, will appear there. You mean it is possible that God will bless us with his appearance? Of course. One day, he will appear without a doubt. But when? Only God knows. Only God. You mean the praised one will destroy the idols like his, his forefather, Abraham? Without doubt. Destroying the idols will bring us such pleasure. <laughs> yes, yes, that is the case. But destroyed idols are sometimes capable of being restored. Those idols that can never be repaired must be destroyed.